Wilma Rudolph was born in a poor family in Tennessee, which is now part of Clarksville. At the age of four, she got double pneumonia with scarlet fever, due to which she got polio. She had to wear braces on her legs and according to doctors, she could never walk. But her mother always encouraged her and told her that she can do anything with her God-given ability, determination and faith. Wilma said, I want to be the fastest woman in the world. Rudolph wore a leg brace until she was 12 years old. Against the advice of the doctors, at the age of 12, he threw off his brace and took his first step forward, which the doctors had said was impossible. At the age of 13, she took part in the race for the first time and came last with a huge margin. And after that she ran in her second, third and fourth race and kept coming last, but she did not give up. She kept running and then one day it came that she came first in the race. At age 15, he enrolled at Tennessee State University, where he met a coach named Ed Temple. Temple said, the kind of spirit you have inside, no one can stop you, and besides that, I will also help you. Soon the day came when Wilma reached the Olympics where she had to compete with the best of the best athletes, including the undefeated Yudahim. First 100 meters race took place, Wilma won the gold medal by defeating Yuta, then 200 meters match took place, in this also Wilma left Yuta behind and won her second gold medal. The third event was the 400 meter relay race, in which the fastest runner often runs at the end. Wilma and Yuta were also running last in their respective teams. The race started, the first three athletes easily changed the baton, but when it was Wilma's turn, there was a bit of a mess and the baton kept falling. Meanwhile Yuta overtook, Wilma without delay increased her speed and started the machine. She went ahead while running and won her third gold medal by defeating Utah. It became history. The woman who was once suffering from polio had become the fastest runner in the world today.